Something that's been kind of interesting to live through is the huge technological change that just happened to the world. The introduction of ChatGPT, language software that was made public by the company OpenAI. When I was scrolling and I saw this post from The Economist, and after talking to my bestie earlier today about ChatGPT, it's just so interesting how these massive technological changes kind of happen subtly, but begin to overtake every industry and just change, like it's just introduced into the culture of how we talk about our lives, how we talk about AI. And I'm really curious, like, have you used ChatGPT? What are some of the worries that you have about this becoming like a really widespread thing? What are some of the benefits that you've noticed? I've already used it a bit and I think it's just wild how much it can discourse with humans. Mostly I've used it to practice my Italian and I will talk to it in Italian and it helps me practice my language learning. But also sometimes when I write something and I'm nervous if I maybe made a comma error, I'll just like say, can you check this for commas? And it'll say like, you might want to reconsider this comma here. I mean, it's just astounding how helpful it is. But obviously there are lots of, you know, not so great ramifications of ChatGPT as well. And something really surprising that I feel has been missing from the discourse is the human toll that it takes to bring things like this to fruition. I think often when we use things like Facebook or Twitter, or any of these big tech companies, we don't know like who is doing the content moderation. And it's easy to assume like that AI is doing all of the moderation itself. But all of these things are trained by real people and trained from real data inputs. And I thought this piece from Time Magazine really starkly illuminated just like what is the human cost of this, like how these workers were exploited, how they were just showing really scary images, and how they basically had to show the AI how to be less toxic by they themselves removing the toxins. And think about like the human toll of that. You might remember too when Mark Zuckerberg was brought before various committees to talk about, you know, Facebook's policies and the sort of heated exchanges that he had back and forth forth with AOC and other members of Congress. One of the things that came out of that that was so stark to me was the desperate working conditions of Facebook's content moderators who had very few breaks and were forced hours on end to just stare at horrific things because their job was to remove those from Facebook's platform. These people aren't just being paid unlivable wages, but then they're not offered any sort of care or health care to help with the like traumatic PTSD of having to see unspeakable things, at least not in the way that many people feel that they should have been offered. When we consider these new technologies, which yes, do have so many benefits, I think we just also have to talk about what are the cons, what are the human costs, what are the things that people aren't talking about, and how can we bring progress while still protecting our humanity, protecting loving communities, supporting one another, and using these things to uplift each other.